morning and welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here, I'm Brindley Joyner. Right now I'm in Costa Rica. And if you're not new here, welcome back. I'm so grateful to have you on my channel, watching, following along this fun journey of life. We've been here for like a week and a half. So we have like four or five days left and I just wanted to finish out our trip here with one more vlog. So this is gonna be our last few days here, filling in with all the things that we're trying to check off our little Costa Rica bucket list. It's gonna be a really fun one. But we're starting this morning with a workout class. If you watched the first vlog, we did this class for our three year anniversary, which was so fun. So we're bringing Mary Margaret back with us now. It's like a hybrid conditioning class. So it's super sweaty, super hard and a dope little spot with fun people in it. I'm very excited to sweat this morning. Woke up for sunrise, as you saw, it was gorgeous. And now it is literally pouring down rain. I just peeked over the balcony a second ago and this is what we saw. So this is gonna be a fun buggy ride down the mountain. Let's do it. Then we went straight to breakfast because it was super necessary. This is a place we've been going the whole trip. If you come to Santa Teresa, you have to try it. It's called Vermu and it has the best breakfast ever. We always get coffee, fresh juice, and a whole lot of food. My go-to is the acai bowl here and Lucas gets the breakfast tacos. And then we all split the pancakes today too and everything was so good. I wish I had an endless stomach so I could just try the whole menu here. Also fun fact, they don't carry almond butter at any of the breakfast cafes and I always put almond butter on my acai bowl so I bought it and I bring it with me to every restaurant restaurant and put it on top it's a must okay you know what i was almost about to not show this but i just napped i feel like on vacation and like travel vlogs and stuff you just see fun adventure go 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 but i'm so freaking exhausted from the past couple days and then that workout wiped me out and it's that time of the month so we got home from breakfast i tried to work and edit on my vlog a little bit and i fell asleep while i was doing it so I just napped for like an hour and a half and it's raining outside, but the sun does look like it's starting to peak out a little bit. So maybe we'll turn this day around, but this is reality of travel. Some days are fun and exciting and you're hiking and jumping off waterfalls and surfing. And some days the Airbnb bed just feels so comfortable. I guess I'll pick up my camera whenever we decide to do something else. But for now it's cozy time. This, a honey where have? this is for Lux. I it's like it. Like pink. I like both of them. Do y'all like this green or would you rather have a dark green like that? Thinking like the guacamole. Guacamole? I also like green olive next to it. Don't want it like too muddy. Too I think green. that's too dark. <laughs> okay, make sure I don't know how to like hunter. What's up guys? We're about to go to sunset and catch it and then we're gonna go to dinner Which we're going to a spot. We've been wanting to go this whole time a sushi spot This is the sunset the early little bit of it. Is it gonna focus? You can kind of see it's gonna be dope There's Brindley. We're booking a tour for the boat day tomorrow. We've really been working on our computers all day it's Just it's been rainy kind of so rainy and stormy. See you guys there. It's cool. We're going down to see sunset now and we're getting a fun dinner. This is a little outfit, free people top, and my mom got these pants for me at a beach boutique. But let's go see if this is gonna be a pretty one. Mary Margaret's just <laughs> outfit is beautiful. I don't want the rain on my hair. <laughs> and then we're going to this little beach club. Get up there, it's called Banana Beach Club, and they have really good drinks and music and stuff. Hopefully it's a fun one. A lot of
It is the next morning. Yesterday we went down and saw a really pretty sunset, had fun drinks, got an amazing dinner at Katana. I definitely recommend that place for like Japanese cuisine, sushi and stuff. And then went to bed pretty early. We woke up this morning early because we're going on a boat tour. So we're doing this Isla of Tortuga tour. I think that's how you say it, that our host set up for us because we told her we wanted to go on a boat ride. And I'm so excited. It's like a boat ride to this island. There's snorkeling, jet skis, paddle boarding, like all these fun little water activities. and lunch on the boat so I don't know what we're about to get into but we have like a 45 minute drive up the mountain through all the jungle on our little buggy to get there so we're leaving here soon and then we'll be on the boat for the day so freaking excited the outfit today I'm wearing the palm bralette and then just princess Polly overalls little braid the regular jewelry ready to go We're at this little spot for lunch. They're cooking us lunch on the grills right there. Most beautiful beach. We're just waiting for lunch. cold good morning though we got water first thing and we're gonna go sit outside and get some sunlight in my camera's probably gonna fog up good morning good and there comes the fog wow it's gonna be such a pretty day look at that so beautiful
Today's agenda is to go work at a coffee shop for a little bit and get breakfast. It's kind of rainy right now, so we're not really planning anything in the daytime. But at like 2.45, we are gonna be heading to a different spot, a beach up like towards the east side. And we're gonna be getting on horses and doing like a three hour horseback riding thing on the beach. And the lady said that we're gonna gallop on the beach close to sunset, so <laughs> I'm so excited for that. That'll be a little bit later. For now, we're just packing up our bags with computers and stuff, and we're gonna go to the bakery I think is what it's called yep. for breakfast and coffees and all of that and then work a little bit on our computers there It's always nice since yesterday was fully out on the boat the entire day Like nobody was really on their phones or working It's always nice to have like a little work recovery day after a day like that Let's go get some food and we'll see you guys there same but different yeah <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Afternoon <laughs> okay it's a little bit later and we finished working at the coffee shop and eating there and everything yes, it was so good we actually got a lot done and now it is time to go ride horses which we've been looking forward to this the whole trip so this is the little thing top is from edic did, I think is how you say it. Pants are free people and then I have a fanny pack thing on and we just got a braid. I think I'm definitely giving horse girl vibes for this and I love it. And then Lucas was instructed to wear pants. So this is the only pair guys, of pants he has. He's going to be dripping sweat. Guys, it's like 80 something degrees outside and it's sunny. <laughs> Let's go get on these horses. next morning and it is such a stunning day it's so pretty we're just now like getting up and getting started but i want to take a second a little bit later when i get my camera out to fill you guys in on the experience last night with the horses i woke up like actually wondering if it was a dream because it felt so crazy it was the best experience ever i'll talk more about it later but for now we're just stretching drinking water and starting the morning So good. Look at that bikini. Hmm. What are you wearing? This is the Shoreline Bralette. We love her. We're gonna have a honey meeting because we actually just got the patterns back for our next drop, which is gonna be in the works in the next couple of months. So we're gonna have a meeting to go over those and then get outside as soon as possible. Hopefully go to the beach and hopefully it stays this blue and sunny because it's stunning right now. I can't believe it's the last day. Last day, best day. <laughs> saturation in them I think so I went in and tried to like edit this one's the same as this I think this one she could change like the edit really like a new These pattern the same this one yeah. just has like the stick so that one kind of scares me a little and I feel like with the lighter color like, I feel like when we get a sample it'll look better I think she did an awesome job this was what we pulled inspo from this is what you gave us so maybe like yeah. finding somewhere in the middle maybe what we're looking for is more variety of color that kind of matches her style bring it to that basically like this would fit in with like these are pretty similar to me oh yeah all we did 
was change the background. All right, while I lay here in the sun, I will tell you about the horse experience. It was so crazy. First off, Michelle, the girl that runs it, her company, she's incredible. She has the biggest heart and passion for this company and for letting people experience how incredible it is to be on horses and be on the beach of Costa Rica on horses. What I love the most about what she does, she partnered with the local and she rents the horses from him and they work together on this. And on the tours that she takes people on, she makes sure to bring them to local Costa Rican families, cafes, bars, restaurants, all of that throughout the tour and encourage them to support those small businesses, which I thought was so admirable. She brought us by a man's house that he was selling coconuts out of. We went to a local bar with like drinks and waters and Cokes and stuff, and then a restaurant after, and they were all local families. So I thought that was really cool that she made it a point not to just, you know, take from the land and take from the locals, but include them in all the business here. We went through a little creek and then we galloped at sunset, which galloping is like the really fast one. And that was just the craziest experience. I was a little bit scared at first but I just kept telling myself like you're fine you need to just be in the moment and not think about the fear but just like let go and be in the moment which was really cool and then on the way back it got really dark and the stars came out and the moon came out and it was just insane like we were riding back in the pitch black and it was just the best experience of my life. I keep replaying it all in my head, it was crazy. And then we had dinner at a little local spot right there and I got like the big massive fish, cause that's what they recommended and it was the best thing I've ever tasted. 12 out of 10 experience night, it was so fun and I'm so glad we did that before we left. So I'm gonna put Michelle and her company's Instagram in the description if you come here, please book with them and support them. I cannot recommend it enough. Right now we're just wrapping up posting and everything and sending over patterns to our lady that creates them and then we're gonna go down to find some food and then have a beach day because we can't not. It's our last day and it's the most gorgeous day. So I plan to be on the beach literally until someone drags me off. Bye. back from the beach and we decided we're gonna go get tattoos so we pulled by and said can we come back in an hour and all four of us get one and he was like yeah sure so hopefully it goes well but we're going down there now and most of us don't even know what we're getting we have no idea so we're all like scrolling on Pinterest but it's kind of one of those game time decisions we just said we're all here it's the last day of the trip and it has to be done so let's go figure out what we're gonna get here we go. what are you getting honey jar and a little like Fine lime flower. All right, Noah. 
Angel. Mary Margaret, what are you I'm getting? I'm gonna do a number here like and then another finger tattoo. Just like little, little lines. Cute, cute. I'm gonna do a palm tree on the hand right there. And then I'm gonna do right there. It's gonna say grateful heart. I just finished mine. I a lot more to go. I don't know if you can hear because the wave, because the waves are so loud. But we just finished the tattoos, and now we ran down to catch sunset real quick. It's walking down the beach, and it's so pretty. It's like this big orange ball on the beach. Here's the update on the tattoo. You can't really see it, but it says "Grateful Heart." And then I got a little palm tree. Okay. What's your name? Aww. It is 6.30 a.m. and we just packed up all of our suitcases, about to call our taxi to drive us to Tambor and then to fly a little plane back to San Jose, San Jose to Atlanta, Atlanta to home. So it's travel day and it's really bittersweet. I miss Ziggy, my dog, so much and I'm like, just beyond excited to see him. But other than that, I wish I could stay here. It's been the most amazing trip. I just love everything about Costa Rica. I love the lifestyle. I love how simple and easy everything is. I love how we shop at the grocery store, how we can surf any single day. I love all the restaurants and little cafes. I love the people. Definitely leaving a little part of my heart here. But I'm super grateful for the past two weeks that we've been able to experience it here. Meet everybody, do all the things. It's been just incredible so thank you costa rica for giving us the best time ever i know for sure i will be back here someday and thank you guys so much for watching another vlog i gotta figure out what i'm gonna start when i get back with vlogging because costa rica was so easy we were doing stuff every day let me know what you guys want to see when i get back do you want fall themed vlogs like decorating our house do you want more like workouts and wellness type of stuff let me know in the comments because i'm excited to shift gears back to like home routine vlogs after this as well i'll see you next sunday much love